I'm Dr. Rupa Rachel, consultant pulmonologist at Sagar Hospital, Bangalore. On this World Asthma Day, I'd like to talk about certain fundamental changes that GINA 2019 has brought about. Bronchial asthma is an inflammatory, chronic inflammatory disease of the airways, characterized by bronchoconstriction, giving rise to wheezing, that is noisy breathing, shortness of breath, chest tightness and cough. What GINA, 19, what GINA 2019 did is that it brought about the usage, it brought about the recommendation that short-acting beta agonists like salbutamol or levosalbutamol it should not be used as a standalone treatment. Asthma for almost many years was considered primarily as the disease of bronchoconstriction. Now, we do know that there is a, pre a predominant pathway of inflammation also driving it and hence the role of inhaled corticosteroids comes in. So when we see that patients become increasingly dependent on their short-acting beta agonists, and this is due to the patient's satisfaction and a quick onset of action, we see that they do not want an addition of a controller or a maintenance therapy. Now, this led to risk of severe asthma exacerbations. Uh, hence, we saw a lot of risk of deaths, of deaths from asthma. So, what GINA 2019 brought about is that it recommended the use of an inhaled corticosteroid right from step one. That is, the use of an inhaled corticosteroid containing treatment uh, as a controller. And the use of SABA was discarded. And hence, we see that when patients have an increasing dependency on short-acting beta agonists like salbutamol or levosalbutamol. We do see uh, down-regulation of beta receptors. We also see that patients have increased eosinophilic airway inflammation and a decreased bronchodilator response. This led to several adverse outcomes and even uh, factors like airway remodeling. Hence, the use of an inhaled corticosteroid at every step in the treatment of asthma is propagated. The other thing that GINA recommended was also the usage of a long-acting beta agonist like Formatrol in combination with an ICS as a preferred reliever. Of course, patients who are on different LABA ICS, still SABA is the preferred reliever. But at all steps, the preferred reliever that GINA propounded was a LABA ICS and a LABA like Formatrol because of its quick onset of action. And also, GINA recommended that uh, the usage of um, inhaled corticosteroid at every step is definitely suggested. And also, one size doesn't fit all because of the different phenotypes of asthma. And hence, it is always better to customize or individualize the treatment for asthma patients. So this take-home message would definitely be worth remembering that use of SABA as a standalone therapy in step one is discarded and use of ICS, that is inhaled corticosteroids, at every step of severity of asthma is definitely recommended in order to decrease exacerbations.